In a tragedy, then turning it to good. That's what one mother in the East is doing after the death of her daughter. WNCT's Brandon Truitt joins us now with a look at the making of a movement. Brandon. Ken, for parents, the thought of losing a child is unimaginable. But for some families, it becomes a heartbreaking reality. Anna Nalepka is turning her loss into a teaching moment for us all. I got a message from her one day. She said, Ma, something happened. Their words every parent fears. Anna Nalepka and her family have lived in Greenville since 1995. She won singing contests. She won beauty contests. She uh, was into soccer. Very much that kid, like, wanted us to do everything. It was that spirit that carried her daughter, Stephanie, to adult life. She entered the Air Force and served in Italy. She got married on a mountaintop in Greece, like the most amazing thing you could ever imagine for your child. After years of the service, she stepped away to focus on making a family. That's when Stephanie started to feel pain. She Facebook me. She said, they're transferring me to a different center, Ma. And I said, well, what are, where are they transferring you? And she said, the cancer research in Italy. The diagnosis, breast cancer. She would return to the East, but resisted treatment. Her diagnosis looked promising until a checkup in the summer of 2016. The dye showed up in her breast. What she didn't expect was that it showed up all in her brain. Stephanie was given four weeks to live, but it was only days. July 12th, at 5.23 p.m., my daughter left, and she passed away in my arms. Fifteen months after her daughter's death, Nalepka continues to grieve. I went to a very, very dark place, and I didn't know how to get out. She's working with a production team to make a documentary to help other parents going through this same pain. It's purposely to, to create a dialogue so that people can start saying this is a subject that's okay to talk about. Her spirit's here. Her spirit's with me. You can feel her presence here? A hundred percent. We finished our talk at River Park North. It serves as a place of remembrance. Nalepka now moves forward in life with a new purpose. But once I realized I could help other people. Again, it's her spirit that pushes me to do it. The documentary features several families in the East who have lost children of all ages. Nalepka says it should be finished next year and can be used by therapists to help grieving parents. They'll be holding a benefit for the film this Wednesday. For more information on that and the project, head to our website, WNCT.com. Brandon Truitt, not on your side.